Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Life of Barney and today we're making a savory chicken injection. When you make a meat injection the whole point of doing it is to keep that meat nice and moist while it's cooking on the barbecue. The thing is as the meat warms up the moisture is drawn out but if you can put extra moisture into the meat before cooking it it stays that much more juicy as it cooks and when it gets served. I'm going to go over the ingredients for today's injection and I'll also explain to you what I've done to the chicken already. By the way, if you don't have a meat injector, I'll leave a link in the description down below. I use the Kitchwise meat injector. You guys will see it in a little bit when I pull it out. But first, let's go over the ingredients for today's injection. Half a cup of apple juice, one cup of stock, if you guys don't know how to make stock, just check out my previous video. I'll leave a link for it down below. Two and a half tablespoons of butter. Two tablespoons of pickle juice, preferably not dill if you can. Two tablespoons of black ground pepper and two tablespoons of salt. Once you have all your ingredients ready, mix them all into a small saucepan. You don't want to boil it. Just a low simmer is all you need. The next step is to prepare your chicken if you haven't already. Right here I have a five pound chicken from Go West Homestead. They're a small family owned farm here in southwestern Ontario. I love to support local, you guys know that. I'm always talking about Bloomer's Family Farm and I'm really happy to get this chicken from Go West Homestead. So thank you very much to their family. Because they have sheep at Go West Homestead, when they're making the various products from the sheep's milk, they're able to take the whey or separate the whey from the milk. This is basically a type of protein. If you've ever heard of whey protein powder, that would be one of the sources it comes from. They take the leftover whey when they're making their yogurts and their milks and they feed the whey protein to the chickens. It's a very healthy way to keep those chickens growing strong. They get a little bit larger. I mean, you can look at this bird, it's five pounds, like I said, it looks great. Why would you wanna buy local from a small farm instead of a grocery store though? Cause you can just drive five minutes to the grocery store. That five pound bird at the grocery store is more like a three, three and a half pound bird. But in the processing centers, not all, but many, they actually inject the birds with a saline solution to plump up the breast meat, plump up the thighs, and plump up the legs. It's just a saline solution. You don't get to benefit from that, but it makes the bird look juicier, it makes the bird look larger. But there's no extra meat. No, this is a five pound bird, and this thing's going to be delicious. Once again, thank you very much. Go West Homestead. Let's check in on how the injection is doing over on the stove. When your injection has been simmering for a few minutes, the butter is fully melted and it looks like everything is nicely mixed, take it off the stove and get out your meat injector. This one's the Kitchwise barbecue injector. I'll leave a link down below in the description. If you guys don't have one, you pick one up. It's, it'll be an Amazon link, take it right there. The name of the game, when you're injecting meat, and this is not really a, so much a lesson in how to inject meat, but I'll give you guys a quick rundown. You can't just stick the injector into one section and fill it. You need to do little bits and create these little pockets of the injection mixture throughout. In a chicken in particular, the two pieces of breast meat, the two thighs, and the two legs. And you should be poking multiple times. Some people say once one poke every inch. Might be a little much, it's up to you, but Trial and error will tell you whether you want more the next time or less. I usually do about three times from the top, middle, and the bottom, twice in the thighs, and twice in the legs. I've had some good success trying that. Before you inject, take a little sample of your injection. 
Is it salty enough for you? Is it too salty? If it's too salty, add a little bit, little bit more stock into the mixture. If it's not salty enough, add a little bit of salt, mix it up, try it again. So I gave this a sample while it was still on the stove. Actually needed to add probably about half a cup of, of stock more, just because it was a little on the salty side. So before you start, always double check and give yourself a little sample. Something I forgot to mention before I started the injection, you need to let it cool off a little bit. You don't want this hot mixture going into your bird and accidentally causing any kind of a cooking effect. So let it cool down a little bit, you know, 10, 15 minutes, whatever the case, and then begin the injection. I'm going to go throw this on the Weber Smoky Mountain. I've got it set up for smoking. Running a little late in the day, so I'm going to be running a bit higher of a temperature. Normally I'd be aiming for about 275. I'm going to be in the 300 to 325 range to see if I can shorten up the time. Five pound bird, probably about two hours at the 275 degree Fahrenheit mark. So I'm hoping to bring that down to about an hour and a half or so. But we'll see how it goes. This barbecue, everything changes. I'll see you guys out there. It's been on the smoker just over an hour. Um, I held probably around 375 for the majority of the smoke. I'm really happy with that because I wanted to push the cook time forward a bit. And the color looks amazing. It's fresh off the grill as you can see. We're gonna wrap it for about 10 minutes. We'll come back, carve this up and see how it turned out. In some of the previous shots that I had showing the chicken on the grill, you'll notice I had two temperature probes in the chicken, not one. Whenever you are cooking chicken, the dark meat's going to cook much quicker than the red meat. So that's why I have two probes. I wanna know the temperature of the dark meat. At the same time, more importantly, I wanna know the temperature of the white meat, particularly in the breast. It's going to take the longest to cook. What ended up happening temperature wise, just so you know when you try it yourself, by the time the breast meat reached an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit, which in Canada that's a safe and recommended guideline for poultry, the thigh meat was up at 200. So you can see the disparity. So you cannot only put a temperature probe where the dark meat resides. You have to do it in the white meat. I like to track both, that's why I had two temperature probes. This looks delicious. Let's dig in and have a little sample. Look at this piece of thigh meat. This looks amazing. You know what? I know you guys were just in here for the close up. Come on back in here. I gotta show this. Like, it is so incredibly moist. It smells amazing. I think it's time for a taste test. I don't wanna wait any longer. Here we go. Moment of truth, folks. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Right on. That was amazing. 
Holy moly. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to have some more samples. We'll be right back. It was awesome. I cut that piece of fresh meat out and it really just kind of slid out the bottom. It's nice and juicy. The injection was amazing. You know, Scout is chewing on her chew toy out of excitement because of how good it smells in the house. But really folks, injections, it takes the meat to the next level. It's so worth it. It's a little extra effort, 15 minutes prep, pops. It is so worth it. Inject your meat. This savory injection has added so much flavor to what typically dries out very quickly on you, the white meat. Super moist, fully cooked, beautiful color on the outside, Guys, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Give it a shot yourself and see how it goes. And also, go check out Go West Homestead. Their Instagram link will be in the video description. I've also put it in the captions down here at the bottom multiple times throughout the video. You gotta check them out. Southwestern Ontario in the greater London area. If you're looking for some just fantastic chicken, you gotta look these guys up, give them a call and get your order in. So worth it, amazing looking chicken. Guys, I hope you liked this video. Let me know how your injection turns out. If you had to modify anything, let me know what you did and I'll try it in my next video. All right, slap the like button. I really appreciate you guys watching. Hey, thanks a lot to the subscribers. I really appreciate your guys' support. And if you're not subscribed, you hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications when I upload new videos. I'll see you guys again soon, and uh, hey, don't tell my parents I was smoking in the backyard. I'll see you again next time.